In this video, we'll learn how to create bilingual vocabulary lists using Google Sheets. For this example, I'll be creating a vocabulary list that is both in English and Spanish. But this method can work for just about any language. I'll show you how to add the bilingual vocabulary list you create to Quizlet. But honestly, this will work with just about any site that allows you to upload your vocabulary list via a spreadsheet or a CSV file. Let's get started. First, let's go to Google and open up a new sheet. And now let's get it set up. To keep everything easy to follow, I'll label my first two columns to match my first language. I'll name my next set of columns to match my second language. My third set of columns will become the bilingual list I'm looking to create. You can type in all of your terms and definitions if you'd like, but hopefully you've got a list that you would like to use. For me, I'm going to find a list of vocabulary I have on Quizlet. The easiest way to bring this list into my spreadsheet is to click on the three dots and select Export. All my terms and definitions are in the box that pops up. All I have to do is select and copy all the text in the box and then paste it into my sheet. The text for the definitions may be a little longer and appear to cover up other cells. I might recommend selecting the whole sheet and using the text wrapping settings to make it easier to view. To translate these terms and definitions into another language, it's actually a very simple formula. This whole process is powered by Google Translate. I realize it's not perfect, but we are using Google Sheets, so this is the tool we have at our disposal. In this cell, we will enter our formula, which is equal Google Translate. What do we want to translate? We want to translate the term in A2, so we'll select that cell. Then, comma, then we'll put the code for our first language, which is English, followed by another comma, followed by the code for our second language, and then end the formula with the parentheses. Every language has a two-letter code you can use. A quick Google search for Google Translate two-letter codes will lead you to a list that you can use if you're looking for languages other than English or Spanish. Now we can simply drag this formula over to the definition cell and then drag the formula down to apply it to all of our terms. Now you could stop here. You could take the Spanish terms and definitions back to Quizlet and make a vocabulary set in Spanish to go along with the ones you already have in English. But in this video, we want to put them together and create a bilingual set of vocabulary cards that we can use in Quizlet. So essentially, we want to combine cell A2 with cell C2. And that's easy to do. But as you can see, that doesn't quite meet our needs. We need to create a divider between our English and our Spanish terms. So we'll add an extra ampersand to the one that's already there. And then between them, we'll put a quotation mark, then a space, then a dash, then another space, and then another quotation mark. This helps us create a clear break between the two different terms. There are lots of different ways you can divide them. This is just the simplest way I thought I could show you. And again, we only have to type in the formula once. Now we just drag it over and then drag it down. And now we have created a bilingual list of vocabulary terms and definitions that we can bring into Quizlet. So let's do it. Let's select and copy our new list of terms and definitions. Now we'll come into Quizlet and select Create. We'll give it a name and then click on where it says Import from Word, Excel, or Google Docs. Then we paste our list into the box and click Import. 
we see our list has been added. Now we just click Create. And here it is. Our Quizlet cards with both English and Spanish terms on one side, and our English and Spanish definitions on the other. Sure, it may not be perfect, but it's a step in the right direction when it comes to making vocabulary more accessible for all learners.